what's up everybody and welcome to the market wrap first of all uh, i wish all of you a very very happy new year and um, let's get started with what happened in the markets today and today was a uh, insurance sector day uh, because as you can see on your screen there are a bunch of insurance companies which have done exceedingly well uh, after the numbers that came in uh, especially the performance of insurance companies uh, when their numbers came out of uh, uh, their sales numbers and the number of policies that they are selling and their margins uh, apart from that there has been a lot of uh, business expansion in terms of this insurance sector where we have seen even healthcare insurance companies like star health we'll talk about that later in the video but um, you know to cut short insurance companies have had a fantastic day not only today but in the previous i, I think this entire week and the week before that as well apart from insurance we have also seen banks do exceedingly well so we've all seen that psu banks has kind of been the theme of the market and they've constantly been outperforming and uh, we saw that continue today and even even we saw some private sector banks also do exceedingly well so these two sectors were uh, kind of the stars of the day and apart from that we also saw some action in uh, the dock building or the ship building companies uh, we also saw some pharma companies do well uh, but there were again a little bit little pockets of outperformance here and there uh, overall the markets were largely flat um, yesterday the american markets european markets all of them were closed so we did not see an action from america but today we are seeing that the dollar has appreciated the dollar index or the dxy has done exceedingly well and that has caused the equity markets to kind of slightly take a pullback so again uh, uh, that is something which could be a bummer for the markets now if i talk about uh, the stocks specific uh, news uh, which came in so today was not a very new savvy day we just saw some numbers come in from here and there so uh, uh, we saw a bunch of banks uh, trying to report good earnings so even uh, there were a lot of psu banks which raised more funds today we also saw uh, dmart coming out with earnings and again another spectacular set of numbers uh, we also saw there was you know uh, a lot of action in terms of uh, what's going to be in the budget and uh, we are expecting that sugar stocks will have a good uh, budget this time and uh, we have seen sugar as a theme doing uh, well uh, last two days it was kind of muted but i think uh, as far as the chart structure is concerned and if you look at the chart of sugar uh, as a commodity in the overseas markets uh, i think sugar stocks have uh, some a sweetness left in them so we're going to discuss all of uh, you know all of it now if you look at the heat map in front of us uh, we can clearly see that uh, there were a bunch of banking stocks so let's talk about banking stocks first so if you've seen yes bank yes bank has been on a stellar run uh, we've seen access bank do well uh, in terms of psu banks we've seen bank of india yuko bank uh, both of them doing really well and maharashtra bank up 5% so we've seen banks do well and apart from that uh, let's now talk about insurance which i just mentioned that it was kind of theme of uh, the day sbi life up 2.5% hdc life 4.5% up icici prudential life insurance up 3.6% up we also saw max financial services or max life insurance up 3.8% and we also saw gicre general insurance corporation uh, up 4.5% and um, there is one stock which is miss missing over here in this but i will uh, show you uh, that stock shortly that was star health insurance even that stock did really well now i want you to observe a few things here number one is that apart from insurance and banks which were kind of the theme of the day we have seen that there was there is another theme which is being played out really well so if you look at irfc if you look at pfc which is power finance corporation of india you've seen rec over here you've seen masdoc we have seen rvnl over here and uh, i think one or two more stocks if i, if I look at the broader spectrum we have seen a lot of psu uh, you know public sector companies do exceedingly well even uh, you know hindustan singh now the government has sold the stake but again we have seen a lot of companies in the psu space doing really well and the reason for that is uh, okay so another stock which is lic i missed out on that again in insurance companies plus a psu uh, public sector undertaking now what's happening is the government uh, the market expects that the government will uh, divest more of these assets and they are going to uh, unlock some value and that is the reason why we've seen all of this happen from the other standpoint if you look at this heat map and if i only focus on uh, you know the stocks which were not up to three four five percent but still they did really well is we can also see uh, a bunch of stocks so you can see punjab national bank another psu bank the same theme continuing again uh, we can also see 
a few banks over here so we see idbi we see union bank we see bank of baroda in the green today and apart from that uh, if you were following the markets yesterday and day before cement and metals had a good day a uh, reason for metals doing well was that nmdc the iron ore uh, maker manufacturer in india they raised prices china reopening is a good theme to play and that is the reason we are seeing metal stocks do well now hindustan zinc was up 2% today and uh, sister in concern vedanta uh, was also up 1% now today vedanta also announced their production numbers aluminum production very very good and uh, these are companies indalco vedanta all of them are big beneficiaries of the china reopening theme so what we have seen is that the market has uh, of you know pockets of outperformance but there are some themes which are really really doing well and we'll try to understand that whether these themes would continue their up move now make sure and always understand this that the stocks which have done well if they have done well in a sector or as a group uh, as a industry group as a whole that means that that sector has money flow or momentum coming in so we can expect some opportunities even tomorrow now let's look at uh the overall uh, you know picture of what happened in the market today so before i get into bank nifty and nifty and start off the index analysis and then again stocks to watch out for tomorrow we can uh, just look at the finance and insurance section over here we we can just see uh, how well these companies have done even sblf was up to you know 2 to 1/2% so i think uh, a lot of uh, you know in you know a lot of plays in insurance if you look at the chart uh, i'll just show the chart to you just look at this this is an amazing chart and uh, we we have just seen that uh, how well uh, has you know have these insurance companies done so if i start from you know uh, end of uh, you know starting of december uh, these stocks are up you know gicr is up 50% if you look at hdfc life uh, even hdfc life has done extremely well so this is uh, end of november and this stock is also up about 10% i say general insurance so uh, i think you will see this across the board that they you know they are doing really well and actually they're making a comeback because if you look at the chart uh, if you look at the overall scale these stocks had corrected up by about 40 50% and now they're just trying to make a move even icici prudential just look at icici's chart it, it just kind of bottomed out over here so uh, the high uh, of 2021 high was 718 rupees and uh, it went all the way back to 400 rupees so i think there's a lot of uh, you know action happening over here and especially these underdog life insurance companies i think they are definitely something to watch uh, watch out now i'll go to the fno space and we'll see what stocks did well so over here we can see hdfc life pfc mfsl metropolis icic prudential star uh, star insurance company rbl bank havels uh, all of them doing really well now an interesting thing over here is pharma is also seeing some comeback because we've seen syngene we've seen lalpat lab we've seen glenmark ipka lab uh, even they are trying to do well now mcx uh, just because mcx came over here uh, i just want to tell you that mcx had a major downgrade and uh, MCX Six had a very good run rate. That that stock was, I think, up 40-50 percent in the last two three months. But I think this stock is definitely something to definitely watch out for. Sun Pharma again a pharma stock. Loris Labs again a pharma stock. Abbott India another pharma stock over here. Uh, so we are you know Alchem another pharma pharma name. Uh, uh, so so they've they've been doing uh, really well, and I think we will. uh once we look at the charts i think we'll have more clarity so before we get started let's quickly go to nifty and uh, try to identify and understand what the index is doing and then we will move on to sector specific action which is uh, happening so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to open up the indices over here and i'm going to go to nifty first so i go to nifty and this is the daily chart i'll just remove the drawings which are not important and this is what nifty's daily chart looks like so now when you look at this chart uh, there is one thing which is uh, pretty obvious and uh, that is the market had kind of changed its trajectory so if you look at the overall structure of the market the market's definitely bullish uh, we try to break the all time highs over here we try to break this high over here and then we just came crashing down this is usually called a grab of liquidity which was a fake breakout or a false breakout which happened and then the market's kind of corrected now what the markets have done is they've changed structure and what that what i mean by that is that uh, they've taken out this very important swing low and the market i think is just trying to go back up into this area somewhere Uh, to take some supply and then start falling back again and i am expecting the markets to come all the way back to this region because this is like a full pocket uh, which can be explored there's a huge imbalance over here now what should we do as market participants i think this market is uh, only for you to kind of trade intraday or pick and trade selected themes which can outperform the market because this is not a chart to be very honest as a trader this is not a chart where i am going to be aggressively bullish uh, from a 
we got a monthly perspective i think the markets are uh, going to give you some profit taking opportunities and i think if you are not a very long term investor if you're just playing out with stocks and if you're taking some positions and you want to lock in some gains i think the market's going to give you an opportunity in the coming week so now when we look at this chart what we can clearly see is that there's tons of supply over here in this region i'm going to go and refine it later but somewhere between 18400 that means we have room to move about a percent and a half which is like very normal for nifty and i think then we start start uh, seeing some selling pressure or some selling action when you go to a smaller time frame which is a daily time frame uh, you know sorry the 5 minute time frame what we can clearly see is that uh, from the last two days when the market kind of bottomed out on 23rd of december we have uh, kind of made a move uh, we are up 468 2.6 percent we are up but uh, we have a lot of problems here so i think the market could clearly easily rally up all the way to 18350s or 18400s so this is what i'm expecting the market just slowly travels here and then we start uh, to see a very very nice dump uh, until 17800s again i think we're going to test this because this is uh, you know th you know these uh, this this entire pocket i think is definitely the, the the prices can definitely test this out but before testing the downside i think we're going to test the upside first so we're going to come here first and then we're going to go down so what does this mean for you guys as traders is that maybe for the next day or two we might see some bullish opportunities we might see you know some sector specific action happening but i think be very very cautious this is not the time to be overly bullish or overweight on the market so that was nifty for you and i'm expecting uh, today us markets are kind of flattish to negative although we are not following us markets that close we are outperforming uh, all the markets i think uh, we might just go up a percent and a half and then we just start dumping so that's the only place and i think this is 18400 is going to be a very good place for you to book profits uh, if you are into any positional trade or if you are into an index heavy trade so that's nifty for you now when you go to bank nifty this has definitely been a one out performer and the chart structure looks kind of similar and over here same thing i think the market can easily test out this area because this is an untested area we go go to 40 43900s another 500 points or a percent and then we come all the way back down and test these areas so when you look at the chart uh, right now yes the structure is really nice you know higher lows being uh, formed and the stock is you know near bank nifty is doing exceedingly well obviously thanks to psu banks but uh, understand that there's a ton of supply here here and in all of this region so it's going to be uh, very very important and very very interesting to see how things work another very interesting thing that you guys should think uh, logically that there was a huge huge supply being generated in this area and you know that led to such a huge fall so this was uh, you know a 6 6.5% fall uh, that took place so that means institutional selling definitely happened over here and the price is maybe just trying to run up to take some orders so be very cautious if you are overly bullish on bank nifty and nifty i think this is time to be cautious so that's the outlook on bank nifty and nifty bullish for maybe a day or two and then we start seeing some bearishness apart from that if you look at outperformers so healthcare definitely comes up here i think we had already discussed that you know healthcare as a sector uh, you know has been doing exceedingly well so if we go over here and check out what healthcare is doing i'll just remove any old drawings which existed uh, and we can see that healthcare is just trying to bounce off some areas of demand and we might see uh, healthcare again uh, being a solid favorite another reason is covid uh, you know coming back up again and uh, you know ex experts are saying that january february march we might see another wave of covid at least uh, hospitals like lalpath labs or diagnostic centers like lalpath labs metropolis fortis all of them are going to be beneficiaries and those are the exact stocks which are heavyweights over here so nifty healthcare is definitely something to watch out for as a sector uh, then comes it now dollar had you know made a bounce back and if you look at it uh, i don't really like the chart over here but when you go to a smaller time frame right here uh, i think uh, we have a good pocket uh, to run up so i think uh, this entire pocket all the way uh, from this place and all the way till this place i think we have a solid uh, opportunity here so we can expect the it index to run about two two and a half percent and uh, then i think we start falling again so i think it uh, is still going to take time this is not the best of uh, the structures from a technical perspective i think we're going to take some time uh, to kind of again go back to those highs and i've seen a lot of people 
you know, facing a lot of issues with with respect to IT stocks. Uh, their portfolio is not doing really well. But do not worry. I think this is just a matter of time. Uh, and if just 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 in case, if you have a lot of poor exposure to stocks like Wipro, Infosys, TCS, etc., I would just like to tell you that uh, we are currently changing a wave. That means uh, we are going to make a base over here. So we're going to just try to consolidate and this is going to be your accumulation uh you know phase and then we start making a move so do not expect an instant rally in it i think it's going to take some time and even if there is an instant rally this is not going to be more than 10 12 percent in, in you know in stocks as compared to the correction that we have seen i think we've seen like uh you know 30 33 percent correction that's 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 quite a lot so i think we're going to base out over here we're going to take a pause we're going to consolidate and then we're going to make a move again so that was it for you and next up, what we're going to be seeing is uh, PSU Banks. So now PSU Banks has been the darling of the lull trade. So uh, if you clearly look at this, uh, PSU Banks have clearly outperformed like anything. So uh, if I start from October 2022, the index, the entire index is up 58%. And that includes a lot of stocks which are up like 70%, 80%. And, uh, you know, so PSU Banks has, has done really well. But... As I told you, as uh, you know, Bank Nifty is approaching supply, even PSU banks are showing signs of exhaustion. I think they're overdone, in my opinion. I don't think there is a trading opportunity there. So I feel uh, they might rally up all the way till this area, maybe some supply over here, or maybe they make a high like this, and then they start dumping. So again, uh, if you are into positional trades, make sure that you start booking profits. Another reason for that is this low is taken out. That means bearishness. The order flow is still bearish. This is just an order taking move or a liquidity grab move, which could cause problems if you do not book profits in time so again that's going to be my uh, recommendation and my view now again uh, we go to pharma and i think uh, that there were a lot of upgrades as far as pharma companies are concerned so even granules uh, sun pharma there were like so many companies which uh, did extremely well and the uh, pharma is also you know near these you know smaller areas of demand so we can expect some bit of uptick over here but i don't really see them outperform a lot i think this is just from an intraday perspective now these were basically the major uh, you know uh, plays uh, over here now i would like to explore a bit uh, into the mid cap small cap section where you know we have seen a lot of action now before that i'll just go to chemicals and i'll kind of try to show you what's happening in chemicals and chemicals are having a good time now the entire reason for this is china shut down all of these uh, all of this time and china shut down creates a lot of demand because chinese companies consume a lot of chemicals from indian companies like deepak nitrate hikal ghcl uh, chem plus Sun, uh, sanmar bpl tirumalai so all of these companies actually uh, export a lot because china has a lack of supply so that's the reason these companies are doing well and chemicals as a theme again is something that i'm going to be watching out for now, moving on, uh, I'll go to the mid cap, small cap space. So I'm just going to open up my watch list over here, which is this. And we're going to see which stocks have done really well. And we'll try to sectorally uh, kind of identify. So now, Masdoc, as I told you that, uh, you know, shipbuilding stocks are in action. Even wagon stocks like the Tagar wagons and uh, a bunch of other, uh, you know, uh, Jupiter wagons. I think they've done extremely well. And uh, the only problem is they're kind of exhausted right now. And uh, with the markets opening up again, with COVID uh, again coming up, budget uncertainty uh, again is going to pop up. So I think this is not the not the best time. Uh, to be excessively long, uh, you know, on the markets. Now, RVNL, again, Trail Vikas Nigam Limited is another stock which has done exceedingly well. And it, this has also been, uh, you know, uh, the, the darling. I think this stock has also moved up 60, 70, 80%. So I think this stock is, again, uh, something to watch out for. Just, just look at this chart, uh, RVNL. I think this is just going to blow your mind. So this stock was hovering after a good consolidation, a very good base, uh, 25th August. And uh, just look at this. Holy shit. One. 75 percent uh, upside on the stock and this just this just blew up um very nicely so again rvnl uh but i think this is just too exhausted not the right time to kind of uh, enter uh, the stock now maharashtra bank again another banking name coming up yuko bank uh, pfc no sale chemplast a chemical company insurance company so i'll just break the sector down so that it's easier for you to kind of um uh you know trade tomorrow so this is indo count uh, industries uh, which is uh, kind of involved in some chemical bits and some industrial bits 
Vmart uh, retail again this is the same uh, category as Dmart and we saw Patanjali also do well today Dmart will probably do well tomorrow and Vmart is up five and a half uh, five and a half percent RVNL another PSU company so again just look at the theme Masdoc was also another PSU company Maharashtra Bank another PSU bank Rajesh Exports is into textiles and gold so this stock has been an underperformer. I would uh, suggest you just kind of stay away from this. Yuko Bank, another PSU banking name, another insurance name, another PSU banking name, a chemical name over here, another chemical name over here, insurance company, chemical. Uh, this is again a PSU shipping company, another bank, another insurance company, another bank, another PSU company. So uh, I think you've got a decent idea of what sectors, you know, again, REC, another uh, PSU company coming over here, granules, a pharma company. Um, so we, we we're basically trying to see that there's a lot of action coming in uh, to you know specialty chemical sector and apart from the specialty chemical sector we are also seeing action in insurance psus but as i told you uh, after looking at nifty and bank nifty's chart we are only going to see upside for maybe a day or two or maybe the end of this week and you have to start being cautious so this is not the time to uh, double down on investments rather this is time to kind of stay cash and uh, maybe be a little lighter on your SIPs and wait for the markets to kind of correct at least 10, 12% and then, uh, you know, resume your buying process. This this is the time to be smart. Uh, the markets are going up, everything's fine, but it's going to take only three or four days for the markets to correct a lot. And another reason for that is global economy is slowing down. I mean, there is no catalyst left out apart from the budget, which is going to give another leg of the move. And as a technical chartist, as a technical trader, I don't see markets moving any higher unless and until we base out or we at least stop and halt for some time so, and all the catalysts for banks it <clears throat> psu companies all the <clears throat> all the leaders of the next leg of the rally are also kind of consumed so again that's the reason i am uh, kind of very cautious on the markets and we only uh, you know at stockways we only trade on the long side or the bullish side only from an intraday or a BTFT perspective, not from a very five, seven day or maybe a week or a month perspective. I think this is the time to be cautious. Now, the last part is we're just going to check out uh, uh, any news flow that came in. Uh, and I'm just going to kind of scroll through this uh, through the stock which Discord server that if you uh, find anything uh, interesting. OK, now there's one more stock, which is Swan Energy, which is done exceedingly well and energy stocks. Uh, in general, very specific ones have done well. Uh, and Swan Energy, again, continues its upside. So uh, again, uh, that's 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 a pretty decent thing to watch out for. Now, apart from that, we also saw some action in Rainbow Children. Uh, and uh, this is, again, a Medicare company that also did extremely well. Uh, we also saw CSP Bank, okay, so banking stocks, I think I've told. Praj Industries, another sugar name. So sugar is one theme that I definitely want you to kind of keep a track. I think it's going to have a very, very massive move um apart from that i think uh, we have probably covered every single thing i don't see large caps doing extremely well uh in the month in in this month or maybe the month to come i think real estate is going to be an underdog i think uh, this, this is going to be definitely one sector to watch out for and uh, as i told sugar sugar is i think uh, i'm definitely going to be very very uh you know interested in sugar uh the other sectors i think they're kind of overdone uh intraday Yes, a lot of opportunities, but not the best time to kind of trade them, uh, you know, on an overnight basis right now. IEX also came out with their numbers, very flattish numbers. Now, a lot of people are also stuck in IEX. So they're like, you know, uh, we are invested in IEX. What to do now? I think IEX is going to take some time. Valuations were very rich, but now the stock has corrected and it is going to take some time uh, to kind of uh, come back and bounce again. So, yeah, more or less uh, all of these. Yuko Bank, again, I just, I'll just tell you. So, they are raising tier one bonds for about 1,000 crores. And that's the same, like, that's the entire theme in all the PSU banks. So, I think for tomorrow, these themes which we discussed are going to be the stocks to watch out for. And uh, I would again remind you that uh, the markets technically are going to come into an important supply zone. So be cautious. Uh, do not short the market if you're not an active trader, but at least make sure that you're not buying at the wrong prices. So that's it uh, from the market trap. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode and I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Happy New Year once again, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much.